This account is blowing up right now, and what they're doing might be the simplest way to skyrocket on YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. The craziest part? You don't need to write a script, record a voiceover, or create custom images. Wondering what kind of niche this could be? Stick with me. They just started posting and already have over 99,000 followers each post racking up hundreds of thousands, even millions of views. And get this, I dug deep and found out the creator is a high school student. How insane is that? It gets even better. This fresh niche lets you jump in using the exact same strategy and pull in millions of views. So what exactly are they doing? They're posting interactive, meme-style games where viewers pick a hiding spot on a house layout. Then, a villain, or a notorious killer, suddenly appears, eliminating some numbers in an outrageous, almost absurd twist. Because it's visual and instantly understandable, it's all about inviting participation, tagging friends, and sparking comments, which is exactly what the algorithm loves. In this video, I'm going to walk you through creating this style of video step by step, and I'll also share a free list of all the resources you need. All I need you to do is hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any of these powerful tutorials. To show you just how easy it is to create, here's one I put together today. Alright, let's break this down step by step. First, you need to prepare your materials for your hide and seek minigame. Here's what you need, a house layout. Go to free sites like Freepik or Pixabay, though I'll be downloading some from Pinterest. Search for house plan, select your favorite, and download several options so you can choose the best one later. Next, download a red paint splash image. You know the drill, this will be used when the villain eliminates a number. Then, download a white paint splash image. I'll explain later how to use this for a special reveal. Trust me, it's wild. <laughs> yeah, boy. For the villain image, search for top villains online and pick a bold, notorious face, someone who really looks like a bad guy. For this video, I searched for top villains in the world and picked this guy right here. He really looks like a bad guy, in it. And finally, you'll need sound effects. Fart sounds, sword slicing, screams, horror sounds. You can pull these directly from CapCut or download them from Epidemic Sounds. Before we move on, Grab the document with all the resource links I've made available in my Discord. Also, if you haven't already, check out my free course on YouTube growth, it's also linked in my Discord. Join my Discord community if you need fast growth tips or any help along the way, I'm here to answer your questions personally. Now, it's time to upscale your images. All platforms push high-res quality content rather than shabby images, so it's ideal to enhance the images you're using. For this, I use Wondershare Uni Converter Image Enhancer, it's super cool. Open Wondershare Uni Converter, link in the description, and try it for free for 7 days. Just open the program, click on Image Enhancer, and drag and drop your downloaded images. You can quickly upscale them for a crisp, professional look, and you can even batch enhance them. Check out the difference. The picture is now crisp and of high quality. Try it out today. Now that your materials are ready, let's create the video using CapCut. Open CapCut, tap New Project and import your upscaled house layout image along with your other materials. Drag and drop the house layout image onto the timeline and adjust it to a 916 ratio, perfect for TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube shorts. Now that the layout is set, let's add text elements. Tap the text option and insert a default text layer. Type your introductory message, refer to the document you downloaded if needed, change the font, adjust the size, and find the right placement for it on the screen. Then duplicate this text layer to create another overlay that displays the villain's name. Next, add a countdown by duplicating the text layer again. Edit the text to display starts in 3. Then move this text on the timeline by 1 second. Repeat for 2 and 1, ensuring each count is exactly 1 second apart. While the countdown runs, you might take a quick sip of your drink, just a little moment of fun. Now, import your villain image onto the timeline. Hang on, let me bring this out for better understanding. Okay, let's continue. Now apply a circular mask by selecting Mask and choosing Circular Mask, and adjust the mask size so that the villain really stands out against the layout. Drag the masked villain from the beginning of the video until the end of the countdown. Next, copy and paste the villain and place the new copy at the starting point, typically at the entrance. Move on to creating interactive hidden spots. Determine at least 7 hidden spots on the house layout and decide beforehand which numbers will be eliminated and which will be lucky. For variety, you might have one number show a sneezing animation, while another may have a ringing phone. Then, add another text layer labeled, Pick Your Spot. 
and overlay it on the designated areas. Now, let's add the 4 second countdown so viewers can pick their spot. Just like we did with the starts in 3 2 1 countdown earlier, here's what you'll do. Start by adding a text layer with the number 4. Set it to show for exactly 1 second on the timeline. Then duplicate that text layer, change it to 3, do the same for 2, and then 1, moving each 1 second forward on the timeline. This creates a smooth countdown effect and gives your viewers a few seconds to choose their hiding spot before the chaos begins. Let's add a dark overlay to give it a suspenseful feel. Pick one from the library, add and adjust it to fit, and reduce the opacity to 18. Three more steps to go, we are almost done with the video. Next, we'll animate the villain's movement. Click the villain image and select Add Keyframe to mark the starting position, then drag the villain slightly forward and replay the clip to check the pace. Continue adding keyframes as the villain enters the room, approaches a hidden spot, eliminates a number, and moves out rapidly. Now for impact, play around with the keyframes so that when the villain strikes a number, the movement is swift. Next, drag the red splash image into your timeline, remove the background, and resize it to match your layout. Now, position it exactly where the villain kills a number. Once you've got the first one placed perfectly, just copy and paste that same splash image for the next elimination. Move it to the next number spot and repeat the process for every number you've chosen to be eliminated. For any number that's meant to be SA, substitute with a white paint splash. Make sure each effect extends through to the end of its corresponding clip. If you're loving this so far, hit like and let me know what you think. And I have a surprise for you before the end of this video, but first, let's incorporate the sound effects into our video. Start by adding a game sound effect at the beginning. And cut it right after the 4 second countdown. You can also add a countdown sound effect during the countdown. Overlay a continuous horror sound as background audio to build suspense. And include a walking sound as the villain moves. Add a footstep sound for the villain. At the moment of elimination, insert a sword slicing sound followed by a scream. For specific actions like sneezing or a fart, add the appropriate sound effect. Finally, as the villain retreats, add a siren sound to cap off the sequence. I almost forgot, animate all your texts. Now, play the entire video from start to finish. Check that all keyframes are smooth, the text overlays are timed correctly, and all audio cues align perfectly with the visual actions. Once you're satisfied, click export to render your video. And just like that, you've created a viral ready hide and seek video. Duplicate the project to create new videos with fresh layouts and characters. Repeat this process daily or a few times a week and watch your momentum build. If you made it to this point, congratulations. I can even share my ready-made template for this niche so you don't have to start from scratch. Just drop a comment saying I'm interested and join my Discord. I'll send you the link personally. For all the prompts, tools, and resource links, check out the description. The Discord links are available there. And if you're excited by this niche and want more viral video ideas, make sure you like this video and subscribe for more powerful tutorials. Let's ride this wave and grow fast together. See you in the next tutorial.